Hello everyone, and thank you in advance for taking the time to further explore the history of the University of Laverne. This documentary was made in 2016, the year ULV was celebrating its 125th anniversary. This documentary was made with a series of other documentaries as sort of an anniversary present from an honors course led by Al Clark and Brian Best. As a student of this course, I was able to take part in the documentation of the history of Laverne. My name is Monique Baca, and my documentary will focus on the football program and how it built character. Football was a latecomer to the University of Laverne. Although the college had already established other sports, a football team was not created until 1921. Here's an excerpt from the yearbook of the time. It reads, Next fall, we are to have a coach, a new gymnasium, and a football squad. Since the local high school league has decided to take up football as a major sport, the entrance of the Laverne Academy into football is not only desirable, but imperative. With football in the academy, a good foundation of training and experience will be laid for the future of the college. Little did they know what a huge impact the football program would leave on the students who were a part of it. The football stadium is named Ortmeyer Stadium. Let's see why. The football stadium was named Roland Ortmeyer Stadium in 1991. Here is a plaque that sits outside the gates of the field dedicating it to Coach Ort. Coach Ortmeyer began coaching at the University of Laverne in the 1940s and continued until 1990. Coach Ort is remembered and cherished as a part of the college's history. Here is a member of the Football Hall of Fame, Lamont Landers, on his football experience. What about your coaches? You said uh, there was Ort, a Ort, Rex, uh, Curtis was the receiver coach. And Curtis, man, I got to thank him a lot because he had enough confidence in me to, you know, let me start and play. You uh -huh. know what I mean? And I was able to excel. Uh -huh. you know, he saw something that other people did which was cool. And luckily it paid off, made both of us look good. Oh. <laughs> without, without him, I really wouldn't have made it in oh. football. Oh, oh yeah. really? Because he touched, touched you? He taught me how to play. Oh. You know I mean, I had never played receiver, so it was a lot of, I thought it was just about running and catching the ball. 
but all the little little things you have to do, the cuts, you know, the maneuvers, all that was new to me. You know what I mean? He 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 was a different type of coach. He he kind of helped you become a man on your own. He gave you certain. We had structure through Rex, but with or he wanted you to be able to think, to be able to think on your feet, to be able to adjust in certain situations. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. never said that he had all the answers, but it, he was more like all of us working together, we will get the right answer. Yeah. So I love that about Orton. You know, if you thought about a play that might work, he'd be willing to try it. Oh, really? You know, things like that. You know, if it didn't work, we didn't do it no more. But <laughs> I just love that about him, his flexibility, and he definitely was a player's coach. Definitely. Uh -huh. definitely. Yeah, I loved Orton. Being a part of the football program at the University of Laverne was a very unique experience. The coaches had interesting customs that allowed for a stronger connection among them and their team. Here are some alumni sharing their perspective on team dinners, Coach Ort's routine, and how academics and football interacted. Yeah, we would have like team dinners at the coaches' houses, maybe like before a game, you know, go over for some nachos and uh, things like that, you uh, know, talk about the game, what we have to do. It was it was cool. Uh, it was really cool. <laughs> now, you had to, to pay your dues to finally get up to go over there, but, you know, once you got there, it, it was cool. Rex Rex was a great coach. I walked into the locker room, and Ort had all the jerseys for the game folded. He was folding all of them neatly out there. And I looked at him because in Division One. he it's already taken care of by equipment managers. And I asked him, why are you working on this? I mean, you're the head coach of the university. Why, why are you working on this? He says, because I care for my players. If I don't sit back and extend my touch on each one of your jerseys, just as me and my wife work on sewing the jerseys, then I don't have that personal touch in knowing what transpired between you in that field between you and the school. And if they had to go to practice or go to class, they were supposed to go to class. We were, we were on the football team, but we were there to graduate. Ford's main concern for me was, uh, you came from Southern Utah, you played football out that way right there. Um, it's time to get your degree. Mm. It's time for you to take care of your academia and get your paper. Tell me about what we do academically here. That was the first thing you talked about was academics. Mm. It wasn't football. Well, yeah, we would love to have you come play football, but that's not what we're about. We're about education. We're worried about your future. What are you planning to do with it right then? Let's go! Over the past 42 Let's years, Ort's go! football teams at Laverne have won 186 games, lost 181, and tied six, which Ort thinks is just about right. Winning is not the only thing. It's unfortunate that that win gets so important. That, that we lose the other things. We don't intend to lose them, they just get away. Ort's most important other thing is encouraging his players and other students to become responsible adults. Okay. Not his way, their way. With the linebacker shooting back, I can get five yards pop every time. You want them to find their values, not to be told what they are. I, I feel the human being makes some real progress when they want to make it. Not because they've been told to or directed to or disciplined to, but because they want to. And so, Ort's players are never punished. They have no curfews, no training rules. Practice is optional, discipline is self-discipline. They don't even have a playbook, pretty much make up the plays as they go along. Who was it just went up through here? First couple of practices, I, I didn't know what this guy was all about. And uh, I found out from, from the uh, from the guys who had been here three or four years, that you motivate yourself and the team motivates each other. Before every home game, Ort puts down the lines on the field. He launders the dirty uniforms himself and lays out the clean ones. I am strongly of the opinion that all of us should be participants in something from its very beginning all the way through to its end and not only pick a section out of there in which the glory or the excitement or the fun or so on is. And all of it ought to be fun. If Ort were an orthodox coach, his teams would win more games. So what? We don't wait for it to come, it yeah, might come. If it's one thing that when I get out in the world and they ask what did I learn in college, I could really say it was responsibility in which he really taught me. 
Nothing's finished. When a student takes a class from me, I have to turn in a grade, but it, it's foolish if they think they're through with it. Do you hear from kids after they graduate? Yes. What are they saying? Thanks, Ort. Laverne finished its season with four wins, five losses, a good Ort-like record. Although Rex honored and continued some of Ort's traditions, he put his own spin on the football program at ULB. To Ort, football was just a game, and winning was not quite a priority. But Rex liked to win, and his desire to win was reflected in his practices and season statistics. Here are a few people who played for Rex on him and his coaching style. Rex, he, he paid attention to details. He wasn't a disciplinarian, but he had he made you work hard. He would he he made you have that drive to you know he made me be able to do things because I played defense starting. I was able to do things I didn't think I could really do. He used to push me and motivate you. He was a great motivator. Mm. You wanted to play for Rex. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He and Or just had different personalities when it came to the approach, and I think because of that, it made everything fit together. But Rex, you know, it was nothing you wouldn't do for Rex. He wanted to pull the best out of you. Uh. Everything that you did, if you wasn't doing 100%, then, then you're not doing it how you're supposed to do. The values that were established by the football program at Laverne go much further than the commencement ceremony at the end of four years. In a newspaper article written on Laverne's coach Ort, Kuzleka, a former player, said, He taught us much more about life than he did about football. It's just those life lessons came with a game plan. This can be seen from some of the players we heard from. They went on to be coaches, teachers, parents, and even mentors. They continue to practice and pass on the values they learned on the football it's field. It's about being concerned, compassionate. Um, it's about your heart. Rex would tell me, Ray, you got to believe and stand for something. Uh, culture without a purpose has no value. That's, that's the importance, having value of yourself. And again, like I said, it, it goes back to Ord. It goes back to Rex. And we're only as thick as we are one. And, and, and that's what Laverne is. Ord and Rex. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something that was tolerated. You, you, you just don't give up. You know, make the big time where you're at. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and so we, we you know, and, and, and the other one is to reach your full potential in everything that you do, whether that's classroom, football, whatever it might be. We want to be a broad spectrum of, of everything that you do. And, and you can really learn that from sport and, and in the classroom as well. You know, we talked about the winning season, and, and it wasn't because we were more talented than anybody else. I just felt that, you know, our players worked harder and, you know, played for one another and, and really had that teamwork. As you can see, the football program at Laverne was so much more than just a football program. All of the players truly enjoyed their experience, and this makes me proud to be a Leo. No one, no one leaves, you know, and you, you want to be here. What we have here, and that's basically what we do. We just talk about, hey, here's the experience that, that we have and, 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 and what our players have experienced and where they're going after they leave here. Uh, because, you know, really it's about the education. Together so that when they come back for homecoming, you get to see them and say yeah. hi to them. And 